My name is Bruno Huizon, Valentin Lefebvre and I are the co-founders of Total Immersion Company, which specializes in augmented reality technology. So here, I have a flower in my hand. It's pretty, but it doesn't really exist. What you see is a 3D object that we're merging into a video in real time. By using standard personal computer, we can mix real and virtual together with a new level of interactivity, a new level of fluidity. And look how the flower is perfectly following the movement of my hand. So what is the demonstration today? We have on this table two video cameras providing video stream to both computer. We have on this table some uh, real elements representing the real world. And we have on the screen the information after the, the, the images after the information has been processed using our technology. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how we can add and move around any object in this real world with a big simplicity. So what is augmented reality for? Our software is already used by our clients in aeronautic and automotive markets, such as Airbus, Nissan, BMW. We provide to this company a very powerful new product with multiple applications, from design simulation to maintenance. Using augmented reality, software engineers and designers can visualize new prototypes by changing shapes, colors, testing new ergonomic, cutting design time and cost dramatically, saving over 10 million euros on each project. So as we blend the real and the virtual together, the car that I have in my hand right now, oh, um, Valentin, can I have something a little nicer, please? Thank you, Val. So as I put the hammer on this table, Oh, you miss it. Let's try again, Valentin. As I put the hammer on this table, we are going to start a race by producing a 3D element that will take into account the actual relief of these real models using real terrain feedback. So it's important to note that what we are here on stage Using only a table and a few models to represent the real world, our clients are already merging 3D into video with exactly the same simplicity. So let me show you now how, using augmented reality, city planners and architects can test new models for their project, letting people visualize how these projects will change their surroundings. And once again, you can see here how this 3D building is perfectly merged to these rooms. So, Valentin, as we have this building, can we have an heliport? Thank you, Val. And as we have an heliport, can you fly an helicopter? Yes. So these changes are also a great value to the entertainment industry, letting them storyboard new elements instantly and keep overall cost down. But look who is inside the helicopter. I think you know her. Oh, Chris. <laughs> I didn't know you learned to pilot an helicopter. That's great news. Well, on top of that, we can even do lighting and environment mapping to get this 3D object as real as possible. So on location, on battlefield, in the research lab, on the road, or even in a small space, we can add any number of 3D objects, providing any information, such as point-to-point -point distances. And once again, the ability of our software to mask the 3D element by these real models with such accuracy is unique. Let me give you another example of how using augmented reality, we can even look inside this building to see how it is laid out. That's totally new. And right now, for those who still have some doubts about our technology, 
watch this and watch your heads, everybody. Valentin is going to fly the helicopter inside the audience. You can call Valentin. So, it's possible, even here in the hotel dorm room in Arizona, Scottsdale, to prove to you the flexibility our software provides to you and to many of your clients. I would like to thank Chris for his, their, her invitation. I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to thank also the demo organization. And I hope I'll get the opportunity to meet many of you on our booth 15. And let me break everything before. Thank you very much.